this presentation will detail the upcoming updates uh, to the Omnicom online platform. These updates have undergone extensive preparation and uh, careful testing, aiming to achieve uh, a more user-friendly and intuitive interface, as well as the improved platform performance and uh, reliability. The key areas of improvements are as follows. Um, integration of the conversion server into Omnicom Online. This integration will streamline data processing and uh, enhance the overall efficiency of the platform. Um, next thing, it is enhanced object profile configuration options. Um, user will have access to a wider array of tools and functionalities for configuring object profiles, allowing for greater flexibility and uh, personalization. Next thing, it is expanded API functionality. Uh, the application Programming interface or API uh, will be extended to provide advanced capabilities for managing profiles, enabling automation and integration with external systems. Uh, this section will explain the new methods uh, for profile creation within the Omnicom Online platform. As established, um, the current protocol for adding a vehicle profile to Omnicom Online requires an XML file, as you know. Uh, this file can be obtained either through uh, Omnicom GPS tracker or terminal through its configuration, and the subsequent export from the configurator application or by uh, adding an object to conversion server and uh, exporting the corresponding XML file. This XML file is then imported into Omnicom Online. The update introduces a new add button within the interface, uh, enabling direct object addition to Omnicom Online, refusing from the need for XML files. Um, you can see the screenshot from the test version uh, on this slide, so how it will look like. Uh, this process mirrors the procedure <coughs> previously used on the conversion server. Upon selecting the add button, the user uh, inputs the vehicle name, selects uh, the terminal or GPS tracker type, and uh, is prompted with the designated port for GPS tracker configuration. Uh, subsequently, the user enters the serial number, chooses the appropriate group, and finalizes the process by selecting Save and Go to Settings button. Uh, upon the update's release, the conversion server will be deactivated and uh, all terminal configurations will occur through the Omnicom Online interface only. While the XML import or export functionality will remain available for users who need uh, to utilize XML files generated by the configurator or previously created files, uh, the update introduces the ability to create objects directly within the platform without relying on XML files. Upon creating a profile and accessing its editing interface within the vehicle list, uh, users will have three distinct sections, profile, parameter settings, and monitoring. Each section will be elaborated upon in detail below. The profile section retains its standard function of vehicle or object configuration. Within this section, users can specify vehicle information, uh, establish threshold values, upload calibration tables, and uh, fine-tune various 
object settings, encompassing safe driving parameters, movement control, fuel management, universal input configuration, and other previously available functionalities. Uh, the section has undergone minor, minor uh, updates, primarily concerning the order of uh, subsections for improved logical view. Frequently accessed uh, settings have been replaced towards the bottom of the section, while frequently used options have been uh, moved upwards for enhanced accessibility and reduced scrolling requirements. So now this menu is more uh, friendly, so it is more easy to find the needed information there quickly. These fine adjustments contribute to a more streamlined and user-friendly experience with, uh, uh, within the profile section. Um, parameter settings, so this section uh, introduces functionality previously exclusive to the conversion server, enabling users to map parameters transmitted by the GPS tracker to the Omnicom Online data structure. Uh, this process known as methods of calculation allows users to select calculation methods for parameters displayed in the log report columns based on the raw data receiving received from the GPS trackers. This enhanced um, configuration flexibility is now extended to Omnicom GPS trackers or terminals. Additionally, the range of available calculation methods has been uh, significantly expanded encompassing a wider variety of data sources and their applicability to different parameters. This update empowers users uh, with greater control over data processing and interpretation within the platform. The third section within the profile interface presents um, real-time monitoring of raw data packets received from GPS trackers. This functionality provides insights into the incoming data stream, enabling users to select uh, appropriate calculation methods for configuring data structure parameters effectively. By observing the raw data, users can ensure accurate interpretation and uh, analysis within the platform. Uh, significant portion of the R&D efforts has been dedicated to refining custom settings, resulting in one of the update's most important innovations. Expanded capabilities for handling data acquired via the CAN bus. The platform previously offered functionality for working with the main and additional CAN parameters through specialized equipment models. However, this functionality presented a complex organizational structure. Now users can independently configure enhanced CAN parameters received through the GPS trackers, including defining conversion rules and uh, selecting specific parameters transmitted by the GPS trackers as data sources. These enhanced CAN parameters can now be used more than just as a source for log report columns. They can now be used as data sources for various functionalities, including the fuel calculations, uh, universal inputs, RPM determination, and so on. Further details regarding these applications will be provided uh, below. Mm, CAN parameters configuration process means that users uh, sp specify input data and the conversion rules. 
or Omnicom GPS trackers or terminals, certain parameters are configured within the configuration application. These settings or SPNs uh, are then transferred uh, to the profile settings where conversion rules are defined to determine the resulting data types after transformation. For example, in scenarios uh, involving monitoring and uh, operating uh, mode of an auxiliary equipment, where multiple states are received in numerical form, users can establish conversion to a textual string value. This can be achieved by creating a conversion table that maps numerical values or keys to corresponding textual representations. Uh, this enhanced functionality is available for Omnicom, ADM, Teltonica, and Umka terminals or GPS trackers as of now. So later we plan to expand this list. Uh, in addition to enhanced CAN parameters, the platform update introduces the capability to configure custom parameters. The configuration process mirrors that of CAN parameters. Uh, users select the values uh, transmitted by the GPS tracker, specify the protocol field containing the value, and define the rules for converting it into a physically measurable value including assigning a name and other relevant attributes. This functionality is currently available for Galileo Sky, Naftelecom and Xirg GPS trackers with plans for expanding support to a broader range of devices over time. Similar to CAN parameters uh, processed custom parameters can serve a data sources for higher level parameters displayed in existing reports, uh, utilized in analytical parameters calculation and integrated into other platform functionalities. This expands the uh, versatility and utility of custom parameters within the Omnicom Online ecosystem. And the final category of custom parameters involves data acquisition via Modbus protocol. Some GPS trackers uh, possess dedicated uh, protocol fields responsible for Modbus data transmission. This functionality is available for Omnicom, Arnavi, and Galileo Sky GPS trackers as of now. Uh, similar to CAN and custom parameters, like on previous slides, uh, users uh, can configure input data settings and uh, specify conversion values for Modbus parameters. Furthermore, uh, these values extend beyond regular uh, visualization in the log report or graphical representation. They can also serve as primary sources for main parameters such as fuel level, RPM and ignition status enhancing their utility within the platform. The update uh, introduces functionality for combining fuel level sensor data sources from various origins. <clears throat> uh, while the traditional method relies uh, on values within the LLS protocol fields only from GPS trackers, Users now can uh, simultaneously take values received from uh, or through universal inputs, can fields, uh, mod bus, and custom parameters. This capability provides uh, especially uh, advantages in uh, scenarios involving dual fuel engines, such as gas and diesel configurations uh, where a liquid fuel tank equipped with an LLS 
coexists with a gas tank equipped with an analog pressure sensor. By combining these two types of uh, feeding with the fuel, combining these methods, data from both tanks uh, can be obtained directly as volumes rather than as raw values within the log report or auxiliary equipment reports, providing a more comprehensive and uh, user-friendly representation of fuel consumption now. Uh, similar combined reporting is available for Modbus, custom and CAN parameters, enabling simultaneous uh, configuration and utilization of resulting values within the fuel report. Uh, this expands the flexibility and scope of data integration for comprehensive fuel management analysis. Um, RPM, um, universal input configuring. So previously, universal input configuring configuration uh, was possible via XML files only. However, uh, the update uh, empowers users to configure and modify the required number of universal inputs directly within the profile interface at any time. User, uh, users can specify the universal input type, potential, analog, pulse, or frequency, and uh, select data sources for these universal inputs within the parameter settings section. The scope of data sources for universal inputs has been increased significantly. Um, in addition to values directly connected to the GPS trackers, universal inputs, um, user uh, can now leverage arbitrary uh, parameters as data sources, including those transmitted via LLS protocol, custom, CAN, and Modbus. This expansion accommodates the integration of different sensors operating on the stated protocols, uh, facilitating the monitoring of equipment operating modes. So the range of potential use cases for uh, universal inputs is increased, uh, enhancing the platform versatility, versatility and uh, adaptability to various monitoring requirements. Engine RPM is uh, another key parameter within Omnicom Online platform, uh, which uh, serving as a cornerstone for fuel analytics and uh, control mechanisms. The update significantly expands the range of data sources that can be used for engine RPM determination. Users can now leverage virtually any parameter transmitted by the GPS trackers, including custom CAN Modbus uh, data originating from various sensors. For instance, uh, certain scenarios involve getting RPM values from vibration se sensors. Mm, the update enables such uh, implementations by allowing users to establish connections specify engine RPM calculation methods, and configure appropriate thresholds. Um, the combined utilization of engine RPM and fuel level data empowers uh, the platform to deliver uh, the advanced fuel analytics capabilities for which Omnicom Online is uh, renowned. Uh, by integrating these data sources, users can gain deeper insights into fuel uh, consumption details, optimize fuel management strategies, and enhance overall operation efficiency. Similar to engine RPM, 
ignition status is the fundamental parameter within the platform separating vehicle operation states and uh, facilitating analysis of engine on and off periods. And the update extends this functionality by enabling the utilization of different data sources for ignition determination, providing greater accuracy and adaptability to various vehicle configurations. Mm. Users can now leverage uh, various uh, data sources beyond traditional methods, including, for example, vibration sensors in vehicle where voltage based detection is not available. Uh, by establishing vibration uh, thresholds, engine activation and deactivation can be accurately identified based on e exceeding or falling below these thresholds respectively. Um, this expanded range of data source options for ignition status allows uh, for a more precise and detailed analysis of vehicle activity, leading to a wider array of scenarios and operational contexts. Um, the introduction of the new profile brings forth a valuable feature, the ability to import and export configuration settings. Um, practical experience has often demonstrated <clears throat> the existence of complex but similar vehicle types, sharing identical settings concerning thresholds, parameters and other configuration aspects. The update enables the option for users to configure a single complex object and subsequently export it, its settings template, which can then be applied to other objects of the same type. Of course, the option to adjust and modify the settings as uh, needed remains available, ensuring flexibility and adaptability to specific requirements. Um, moving from manual configuration parameters, this section is dedicated to functionalities highly expected by system integrators. Prior iterations of the platform presented an inconvenient method for parameter editing, requiring, uh, requiring users to download, modify, and then upload XML files back. Now uh, the update uh, introduces comprehensive API methods to streamline parameter management. Users can now retrieve, analyze, and uh, update profiles directly through the API. Uh, please note that the updates uh, can target specific parameters within a profile rather than um, requesting the entire profile. Uh, furthermore, the API, facil uh, API facilitates uh, profile creation and uh, retrieval of a list of supported GPS tracker models or types for uh, seamless integration with external systems. Uh, these enhancements significantly improve the efficiency and flexibility of operations within the platform. Um, this slide this slide illustrates the schema for modifying settings and highlights the primary section accessible through the API. Users can now independently adjust parameters such as name, thresholds, calibration data, and other settings uh, without the need to download the entire profile via API. Uh, modify it and upload it back. 
now targeted modifications can be made directly to specific ID elements, streamlining the configuration process and enhancing efficiency. Uh, in concluding this presentation, let us repeat the key points. First point, conversion server deactivation. Upon the update's release, the conversion server will be deactivated and all further additions will occur through the Omnicom Online interface only. Second point, it is profile migration. Uh, existing profiles will be migrated while preserving their configurations. All settings previously established on the conversion server for third party GPS trackers will be transferred to Omnicom online profiles. Profiles for Omnicom GPS trackers or terminals will also be migrated uh, to the new profile structure. Next point, advance notice. It will be provided before the updates deployment, allowing sufficient time for preparation and familiarization with the upcoming changes. Um, users are encouraged uh, to review the presentation materials and contact me or technical support with any uh, requests. Uh, this concludes the presentation, so that's all I have to say.